Welcome to your weekly UAS news update, the place where you don't get your news two weeks late. This is the week of June 20th, 2022, and we got four stories for you this week. The first one is Zipline is getting their Part 135 certificate. Uh, this is actually, I have to say, this is a drone delivery news update, sadly. Uh, Wingcopter is getting $42 million to expand their deliveries, and then Amazon is uh, delivering, and that was kind of a surprise to some of the residents of the town where they're going to be doing this. Uh, and then lastly, some Pilot Institute updates with a new course and some traveling that's going to happen uh, this weekend and we hope to see you there. So let's get to it. The first story this week is Zipline is getting their Part 135 certificate. This was announced on Tuesday by the FAA. Uh, they're going to be allowed to operate as an air carrier under Part 135. Now, for those of you that are not familiar uh, with this program, you know about Part 107 probably if you're watching this uh, video. But uh, if you want to do drone deliveries beyond visual line of sight, and that's going to have to be done under Part 135, which is a completely different set of operation. Uh, that's pretty complicated. So far, it's only been limited to a few carriers out there. And uh, Zipline is the next one on the list. Now, this is the first time that the FAA is actually uh, certifying someone under their BEYOND program, which is a new program they put in place to uh, study BEYOND visual line of sight flights. Uh, currently, Zipline is making deliveries every four minutes. Uh, that's worldwide. Uh, they've been doing a lot of deliveries in Africa and in other countries or continents, I should say. And uh, they're working with Walmart in the US to do this. So. If you want more information, we'll put it down uh, in the description. And related to this, Zipline is actually uh, planning to operate in an area in north northwest Arkansas. Uh, they have a 1,200 square mile area that's been uh, kind of uh, proposed to do a maximum of 20 flights per day. And the FAA is asking for comments from the community, public comments on the environmental impact of this operation. Uh, again, this is after receiving the Part 135 certificate. Uh, this is in the Pea Ridge, Arkansas area. So if you live in that area and you're concerned or excited about uh, what's about to happen, then uh, you can leave your comments. You have 14 days to do so. And uh, we'll put a link in the description if you want to do this. Uh, there's also an email address that you can send uh, your comments to uh, at the FA. Next story is also related to drone delivery, and that's Wingcopter is getting $42 million to expand their operation. Uh, this is going to be beyond doing medicine. If you're familiar with Wingcopter, we actually had them uh, on the show, on the Pixel Drone Show a couple months ago. It was a great discussion. Uh, I think, personally, I think Wingcopter is one of the, the companies that's doing drone delivery for the right reason. They've been uh, really involved with doing delivery for uh, medical purposes. And uh, the company hopes to use the money that uh, they have in order to begin deliveries of things like groceries, unfortunately. Uh, I, uh, as you can tell, I'm not the biggest fan of drone delivery at this stage. Uh, I, I think there are better ways to uh, do these things. And, and quite frankly, there are better ways to uh, utilize the airspace. But uh, it seems like this is where a lot of companies are going right now. So uh, the CEO was pretty excited to get this funding, as you can imagine. And they said that they were going to put this to good use. So uh, again, we'll put a link down in the description. Uh, and and uh, if you want more information. All right, uh, last story about drone delivery. This is Amazon that's looking to start deliveries in Lockford, California. And uh, it looks like it came as a surprise to a lot of the folks in town. Uh, the uh, project was kind of uh, kept secret, uh, it looks like in an attempt to prevent backlash. Uh, Amazon is apparently reaching out to uh, some of the people that live within four miles of the distribution center and then to determine if they are, have any interest in getting drone deliveries done, well, by drone. Uh, it looks like it's going to be limited to packages under five pounds and then it will be limited to certain types of goods. So again, we'll put links down in the description. All right, this is all we have. Now, a quick update on Pilot Institute. We do have a new photography course that was released last week. It's actually been uh, popular, very popular with people uh, signing up. So we'll put links down in here. Uh, we work with uh, Ken Dobo and we work with Billy Cal uh, to bring you content that is uh, related to people using drones in the photography world, videography world, uh, and to make money. So we're going to give you tips on how to improve your videos. Uh, there's a whole section early on in the course that gives you all the basics of photography. Uh, we're also working on adding content. We have two more uh, instructors that are going to be joining the course. So if you get the course today, you'll be getting content added uh, as we put it out there. Uh, as it is, it is actually nine hours long. Uh, it's longer than pretty much any other course out there on photography or videography. Uh, we decided to actually make only one course 
that has both of the topics instead of doing two different courses. So uh, it's got a lot of value. And uh, if you want uh, links, we'll put them down uh, right here so you can enroll. But uh, the other thing is Pilot Institute is going to be, our team is going to be at Flight Fest this weekend in Ohio. So uh, we've actually been in touch with quite a few of you. We'll have a booth. We'll have the team out there. You can come and talk to us and uh, and take photos and, uh, and chit chat about everything. So if you're one of our students or want to be students, uh, please make sure you stop by the booth. Uh, we'll be flying drones. We're taking uh, quite a bit of gear actually uh, with us uh, on the plane and we'll be leaving on Thursday and then we'll be there uh, all day on Friday, Saturday, a portion of Sunday and then we're flying back on Sunday. So I uh, look forward to seeing you guys over there. If you are going to be attending, please leave a comment in the, in the, in the description here and then uh, we'll make sure to be looking for you. So that's all I have for you this week. As always, like, subscribe and we'll see you next week. Thank you.